Hi and welcome. Today we're making Greek pastry, malsuqa. It's a very easy and simple recipe. It's different than the one I made last time. So let's start with the recipe. Enjoy. Let's start with the ingredient. The ingredient we need two cups of flour and one cup of semolina, very thin semolina, and a half a teaspoon of salt. So we're just going to mix the flour with the salt. So I'm going to use the blender. You can use the magic bullet if you have. You can use the blender. You can use the hand mixer. Whatever you have, you can do that. Or you, should, you can use if you wanted to uh, use it by hand, by the whisk, you can use that too. So we're going to, the amount that one I'm making, I'm making a lot. So I can store it. You can do the same amount and store it in the freezer. If you just want to want to do only a little bit, you can just make a quarter of a cup of uh, two quarter of a cup of flour and one quarter of a cup of uh, semolina. Over here, I'm adding the water. Those are two cups of water. So I'm gonna mix it, and then if you think you need more water later. Start with two cups, and then if you think you need more water, you can add. If you think you're okay, just don't add anything. So we just blend it, and that's how it looks. It should be not too runny and not thick. It's like a crepe batter. See how it looks like that. You don't want it to be too thick. If it comes out to be too thick a little bit, just you can add a little water. Don't worry about it, it's nothing gonna happen. Like that, it should be like that. Over here I'm using um, a stove. Last time when I used, I have another video that I'm using double boiler. Uh, I was like I had a, a pot with water under it and then I had the pan on top of it. You can use, you can do it like that. And uh, I tried this one, I like this one better. So you can just do it in a medium heat, low heat or medium heat, it depends on your uh, stove. So you just coat it like that, make it like a round and then help it with a, uh, if you have a spatula or something, you can help it loosen up the edges. And then when you see it start like drying, if you can see it in the camera, like changing the color, and you see a spot that it has a, a little, it's not like it needs more, you can add and cover it. So that's how you see, you're gonna see the cha that the, change the color. That's how you know it's cooked. You see how it's turning like a white? Off white actually, it's not white, off white. That's how you tell it's cooked and then you pull it out. And then you, like I said, if you see a spot is empty, you just fill it up. And see how much it comes out. It made me probably around 20. Um, like that, you can store it in the freezer if you want. You can do like, uh, depends on your family, like five or six together. Make sure when you want it to store it, you put uh, oil on it. You rub it with the oil first and then you store it. But if you're gonna use it for the day, you don't have to put oil on it. It will be good. So now I'm gonna show you how it looks like. See how nice and thin. It will come out nice and crispy and and it's good. You can fold it like that if you want. If you wanted to make it to a triangle, you can do that. You just fold it, fold the four corners, and you just fold it like that. And you put, if you want to put an egg or whatever you wanted to do with it. So I hope you like this recipe. And if you do, don't forget to give me a like and uh, enjoy. And I'll see you next video. Bye bye.